Well, first, so it is time to say goodbye to open, open seating on Southwest Airlines. The company is abandoning the very foundation of its brand. Thanks for joining us here on Wink News at 3. I'm Nicole Gabe. And I'm Claire Gall. And for Rust, Southwest says it's going to broaden appeal and boost financials, but at what cost? Wink News reporter Tiffany Rizzo joins us live now at RSW. So, Tiffany, is this a risky move and could it alienate customers? Claire, it's a mix. Southwest loyal customers told me they were not happy about this change, but it could bring in a whole new group of customers who would rather know where they're sitting. Now, Southwest says this decision is in part because of the customer's preferences, but the bottom line is they want to generate more money. FGCU Professor of Management Jace Ramsey says Southwest is underperforming to other airlines financially, and investors are now pushing for them to start charging more. But Ramsey says we will have to wait and see how changing the business model will impact the airline. Normally I would pay a premium to go on one of those bigger airlines, but if uh, Southwest now becomes as expensive, then I don't know, you know if the clients stay loyal to Southwest uh, like they have been for uh, at least 20, 30 years. Uh, they've really had a strong following. So I think we have yet to see how that's going to pan out from a business strategy perspective. And by changing the seating, that's taking away what Southwest has always been known for, flexibility. So then you have to wonder, are they going to start changing, having to start paying for luggage? Or if you have to cancel a flight, we'll have to wait to find out. Reporting live at RSW, Tiffany Rizzo, Wink News.